So recently, Australia just had a shooting. Four police officers arrived on the scene. They were there to investigate a missing person, but they were hit with a hail of bullets. Two of the officers went down and they were then killed. And this is perhaps the most shocking part, execution style. The other two officers uh, went for cover. One of them, who had only been out of the police academy for a couple of months, hid in high grass. And then the suspects set fire to that grass to try and flush her out. A neighbour arrived on the scene. He was shot dead, uh, shot in the back. And then it was around another six hours. Uh, some 16 police officers arrived to try and get this siege, this ambush under control. In the end, the three suspects were killed. And I, I really hate to use this shooting as an example of what I've been preaching against with respect to gun control for <laughs> 10, 15 years now, but it's the only way I'm gonna get people to really truly understand that there will never be an end to them pushing gun control. Anybody wanna take a guess how they're responding to it? We're gonna be analyzing this for a long, long time to come. And these horrifying details of what took place are now starting to surface. But do we have more clarity as to the why? Why this happened? Why these, these people became isolated? Why, how they got all these weapons? But you need to look at the licensing system, the national database, and uh, can that be better? Should it be better where people mo uh, move from state to state? what the policies and procedures are. It's where you need uniformity right across the board, uh, but where firearms fall into those who are in the wrong hands, that is where we should be concerned, and that will form part of the investigation. And if things can be done better, we need to work, all states need to work together so we have the best system available, so we have the best intelligence, which will keep the community of uh, Queensland and the rest of Australia safe, but also when police are uh, doing their job, uh, it keeps them safe and we have the available information because these tragedies should not take place. We're not used to seeing this in Australia. This is what we hear about in countries like the United States. If you said pushing more for gun control, you'd be right. Now, the reason why this is so significant is because Australia's gun control laws are really brutal. They have extremely harsh gun control in Australia. They had a major mass shooting and after that mass shooting, they went so far as to literally force people to turn in their firearms. And if you didn't, they came and got them. That's how brutal it was. And now, even though they had those brutal laws or those brutal gun control laws, here they are now trying to now push even more gun control after the fact. So with that said, I wanna use this particular case to demonstrate this point. I don't care what Joe Biden says. I don't care what the gun control lobby says. There's no such thing as common sense gun measures. There's no such thing as reasonable gun laws. There's no such thing because every gun control law is reasonable to them. And every shooting is a justification for even more reasonable gun laws. Do you see where I'm going with this? There's no end to it. They'll start with background checks. Then there will be another shooting. Then they'll say, we need to do more. Then there'll be another shooting. Then we need to do more. Then there'll be another shooting. Well, we need to just do a little more, just a little more reasonable gun control laws. They'll reasonable gun control laws you to the point of you having no guns. That's the whole point. And it's being demonstrated right here in Australia. They already confiscated firearms. And yet they're still talking about passing more gun control laws. We need to do more about it because the only solution that the people who believe that they are in control will have to situations like this is to give them more control. And that control comes by way of gun control. It's in the damn name, gun control. They're not talking about controlling their guns, they're talking about controlling your guns. And that is just it. People need to understand that. Look at what's going on in Canada right now. First, they, they banned so-called assault weapons. Now they're banning handguns. Now they're damn near banning all guns. That is, that's how they do it. Because they understand that your, that people's minds are, their memories are just really short. And they understand that. And they understand that the time between one shooting and next shooting after that, next shooting after that, next shooting after that, you, you're going to forget what they did before. And then you're going to be ready to rally and say, yeah, we need more gun control laws because this is, this is, this is terrible. This should not happen. And it shouldn't. 
But what should be and what is are two different things. And we live in a world that no matter what laws you put in place, there are going to be evil people out there who are going to want to do evil things. And the only way to stop evil people from doing evil things is to have the means and the ability to meet them when they're trying to do the evil things and stop them. Plain and simple. Police have guns and they weren't even in a position to stop these people. So what do you think that's going to do for you? Someone who doesn't even have a gun in the first place. You don't even have a fighting chance. And what happened when the police officers who were killed, what happened? They went and they called people to bring even bigger and better guns. That's what they did. They always bring guns. They always bring guns to defend themselves. They always bring guns to defend other people. So why would I not be in a position to have a gun to defend myself? Especially when I know they can't get there fast enough to defend me. Use this particular case in Australia as a lesson. They have all the gun control. They have it all, all of it. And yet this particular situation happened. And now that it happened, they're still asking for more and more and more and more. I hate what happened to the people in this particular situation that got killed. I hate it. But the answer isn't making the people less able to defend themselves. And that's exactly what they want to do here in America. And they'll sell you on this idea of, oh no, the more guns that are out there, the more that this one. No, it still happened. It still happened. And because it happened, you're still using it to justify more gun laws. So the next time you hear Joe Biden or someone from the anti-gun lobby get up there and try to justify why we need more gun control laws or common sense gun measures, oh, we just want this, don't believe it because it is a lie. It is a lie. They will ask for an inch and they will later ask for a mile and then take an eternity away. And that's also why we have the Second Amendment because the Founding Fathers knew that the people in power would try to do stuff like this. They knew it. So they enshrined our ability to protect ourselves in our constitution. That's why they said the militia. The militia was talking about you, the people. They are the militia. Because when it comes down to it, when you need to protect yourself, you are your own militia. Whether you're fighting against a criminal, an invading army, a tyrannical government, it doesn't matter. You are the militia at that point. That's why I make hats like these and designs like these. I say, I am the militia. This isn't about bravado and machismo. It's reinstating what we already should know. The only person we can rely on to protect ourselves is ourselves. So yes, you are the militia. Now, before you go on and watch another one of my awesome videos, um, I just want you to make sure that you hit the subscribe button and then when you hit the subscribe button, there's going to be a bell that appears and you tap that bell and you click all right now. That is the only way YouTube will notify you every single time that I release a video. So make sure you do that. And also don't forget to share, like, and leave a comment and share and share, 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 share. I hey, people tell us all the time. They're like, oh, you know, we're kind of preaching to the choir. No, we're not pre preaching to the choir. We're only preaching to the choir. If you're not sharing this content with other people who need to hear it. And also in the description section, you guys who want to take advantage of a lot of the specials and giveaways that I like to do on my email and text list, go ahead and be sure to sign up there. I don't want to hear anybody who says, I didn't know about the giveaway. I didn't know you were giving that away. That's because you didn't sign up for the email and text list. So go ahead and do that in the description section as well.